Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and today, as you can tell from my face, I'm sharing with you a get ready with me. They are mostly, I think, all Revolution products. So if you love Revolution products, you're gonna love this get ready with me. They're all my favorite products at the moment, loving these. Um, the only product that I haven't used from Revolution and I'm not enjoying is my brow products at the moment. And um, I usually use um, this or the um, one from Revolution Pro. So this is the PS Skinny Brow Pencil. So it's in dark brown. It's very skinny as you can see. I've used it completely up. Um, <laughs> I really love these. Uh, Revolution Pro is the most recent one that I've used, but I've disposed of the packaging. This one, luckily enough, I kept. Um, but yeah, I really love these because I don't have a lot of brow here and the small, pencil part of the uh, product really works to give me those brow hairs. I love it. I love the shade. Like I say, I use dark brown. Um, love the shade, uh, dark brown in either Revolution Pro or Primark. Either one just depends on where I can get the product from. Um, but I love those. I've also used this today, which is the Obsession Brow Pomade. I love these. I think I've also used either a Revolution or Revolution Pro Pomade. Can't remember which one, but across the board, fantastic products, last and last and last. Just, um, I just pop the lid back on as soon as I've used the product and mine do not dry out. The product that I have been using is also from Primark and I really, like I said at the beginning, I don't like it. It's the PS3 in one brow precision pencil and powder in dark brown. I couldn't pick up one of these. Um, I usually stock up. Didn't pick up any of these because they were all sold out in the Norwich store. Um, I should have picked one up from Revolution Pro, but I thought, ah, oh, you know, I love this. This is gonna be basically very similar. It's not. You have three components to it. So the first is a spoolie, um, so self-explanatory. The middle part is, and you just untwist it, it's like a sponge with powder. Um, I haven't used that. It's, it's not something that I will be using. Um, and then this end is the angled brow like pencil. It's more like a crayon, I suppose, but it's too large to be a pencil. And it's angled. First of all, this is very waxy. Um, number two, the shade is very warm um, compared to what I'm used to with the Revolution Pro or Skinny Brow Pencil. Um, and basically you can see that once you use it a little bit, that angle goes. So I don't have much of a point and it's just too thick to give me those fake brow hairs. So it was two pounds. Um, so obviously not too much of a loss, but I just don't, do not like it. It's, it would be okay if I wanted it to fill in the brow, but it's just too warm for me anyway. And yeah, I just don't like it. I don't like the consistency. I'm gonna have to keep using it at the moment until I manage to pick up, you know, a favorite product. But yeah, I'm just not enjoying that. I thought I'd mention it because, yeah, if you, like me, like the skinny brow pencils or microblading brow pencil, the one from Revolution Pro, and you see this and you think, oh, I'll give this a go, um, if it doesn't work basically for um, creating those very thin brow hairs. But for filling in, great. Okay, moving on. Um, what I'm going to do now is just apply a little bit of concealer. Um, this is the Revolution Conceal and Define in C4. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit. Because it's been quite warm, um, I don't really wear a great deal of, you know, like heavy makeup at the moment. I'm keeping everything quite light and summery, just because when it's, you know, warm and you glow, um, I don't know, it just makes me, I don't know, it just, the makeup is lasting because obviously it's revolution, you know, it's really good. Um, but it's not that, I just don't feel that I want to wear, you know, or be caked in makeup in heat. 
so it's I'm putting a little bit on I might have to adjust that a little bit and add a bit more but yeah I'm just not in the mood at the moment for a full face of very heavy makeup okay foundation I'm using the revolution conceal and define full coverage foundation in f4 um, love this but again I'm just going to keep it quite light now again I don't know why um, I mean I'm very careful with my brushes um, you know I wash my face I'm really careful with that but again I've developed spots on my neck I always get spots on my neck hardly anywhere else but just there I'm using a very inexpensive um, foundation brush you can pick these up from eBay they sell these in sets but I just prefer a very dense angled brush um, if you just go on to eBay and pop into their search box um, I think it's Kabuki foundation brush you will see lots of these I'm not going to go over the spots until I've done the rest of my face might have to put a bit more on my nose but yeah I'm just not into really heavy makeup in fact this is the first year that I've really surprised myself actually and gone out with hardly any makeup um, I've been using the Revolution Pro powder foundation a lot um, just to give me a little bit of coverage but not anything you know too much now I'm just going to pop a little bit of this on the brush because I don't want to pop it on my face with the spots on my obviously on my neck not my face um, and the reason for that is obviously because I don't want to encourage spots anywhere else so that's my face and my neck done I, I just don't want any more foundation on than that now of course I'm going to be now I have got this and it's the Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Translucent Setting Powder and I love it but even it's translucent but I still feel that it gives me a little bit of a cast underneath my eye it's it's a lovely product and I really really like it but I don't like a, um, a light under eye I just I just don't like it on me I like the same shade all over um, I my problem area is un, under area sorry is under my eye and I find that if I put anything light underneath it it just enhances it so although I really do recommend this it's gorgeous love it um, for me I'm still obsessed with the Revolution Pro powder foundation in fact I've just started a brand new one let me just show you it without the mirror mirror I love this so so much I'm obsessed and oh, I don't know I just I just like the color of it under my eye um, the only thing that I find is it does crease a little bit if I put too much on but I just like in fact actually the less um, concealer I put on the better it is for me and also it's also good if I don't go in a second time um, so I just go like that and I get a really good effect um, I'm really really pleased with that and like I say the less um, concealer I put on the better finish I have um, and like I say I want to keep it light so I'm just putting the foundation over most of my face it really does work and I suppose I can get away with a lighter coverage of foundation um, you know liquid foundation when I'm using this but it's enough for me and it sets my makeup all day and keeps it in place okay the next is to warm up my face a little bit in fact actually no what I'm going to do is apply a little bit of this and it's the Revolution Pro eye elements in central I love this so so much I've never used any other 
um, thick base like for example a lot of people talk about the MAC um, paint pot I think um, I think that's what it's called I um, this is my first product that is quite thick and you know obviously I've used um, concealers and things like that but I really love this so much less again is more if you put too much of this you will end up with a very um, you know thick base um, I use this Wilco very inexpensive brush um, and I think this brush is 95 pence I've already carved out my brow so I just go over it very lightly once I've applied it I then tap it on with my finger because I want it to be more like skin rather than you know thick cakey base and again a little bit more on this side bit more I think I was using way way too much of it to start with and I've realized that a thinner base is better what I'll do is also is list uh, everything that I'm using uh, down below for you as well so that's basically the base applied now um, yeah this is what I'm using at the moment that I'm obsessed with for warming up my skin. You can see that I've only had this a little while and it's all already well worn. This is the Revolution Pro Sculpt and Glow Contour and Highlight Palette. And this is, I think it's eight pounds. I am obsessed with this. Um, now usually, this shade is Desert Sky. I usually, um, when I pick these, products up like duos um, or even palettes I only use one product but I've really been loving this duo um, I also use let me just get the other ones that I'm loving I also love this one which is Sands of Time but I prefer this rather than that that's just too icy for me but it's got a little bit of a hint of pink to it regarding the actual bronzer. So I love that depending on obviously my makeup. And then I absolutely love this one as well, Savannah Nights. I'll be using this today as a little bit of contour. Um, also love the highlight in here, it's just beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to be using, as always, my NYX fan brush, love this. And then I'm going to go into the bronze shade to start with. And then I'll just, no, forgetting where I start. I don't know why I apply this every single day, near enough. I was even using this um, when I was wearing hardly any makeup um, and no makeup as well. And it's one of those products that blends so beautifully. Even if, um, you know, like then, I just put way, way too much on. It just blends, it doesn't stick to any areas and I just love it. Okay, we're now gonna walk, start warming up the cheeks a little bit. I always find this side so difficult. We're getting there. Now, I have been loving this all over the cheek. I will be adding a little bit of blush in a, in a moment or two, um, just as a little bit of color. But basically, that is um, my base. You know, if I don't want too much makeup on, I would just leave it like that. Obviously, I'm doing a little bit more today. So love, love, love that. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of contour. Um, so obviously I'm using the Savannah Nights, the deeper shade. A little bit difficult to share with you because of that shiny base. Beautiful product. 
like I say, it really does blend like a dream. Okay, a little bit more on the other side. Like that. Because it's the same kind of product, they really blend so nicely into each other love that now i'm going to go back to the original um, and i'm using the flex brush of course absolutely adore this i don't know if this is still available on the revolutionbeauty.com site this was i think originally 10 pounds but it's been reduced to three pounds this is oh it's just everything if you like me don't like a thin line of highlight then this is the brush for you, beautiful. So I'm going back to Desert Sky. I'm going in with this beautiful peach shade here. It just distributes the highlight. I mean, you can obviously still put it in the areas and be quite precise about it, but it's just one of those brushes. You know, if you're like me and you just like um, a nice sheen and it also well blended and you know I like it to look as natural as I can when I'm applying makeup and this brush really does you know give me that effect I love it so I'm just putting it there now I've also uh, missed an area I've been putting bronzer so I'm going back to stick or sticking with desert sky and the bronzer I've been putting that on my nose I don't know why I've forgotten because I've been doing that every single day. It just gives me a little bit more of a sun-kissed look. Okay, so that's enough bronzer and all of that good stuff. Highlight, I haven't started with the blusher yet. Now, this I'm obsessed with. I've been obsessed ever since I purchased these. And these are, or this is, the Revolution um, blusher reloaded and this is the first time that I'm going to be trying this out today and it's the shade peaches and cream oh, I'll show you the shades that I've got if you've missed my video so um, I've got sweet pea I actually wore this yesterday in yesterday's video this is oh, just beautiful if you want just a tiny little bit of if you've got the same skin tone as me obviously if you are fairer than me then it's going to work beautifully but for me, sometimes I like just hardly any blusher, but I want something. Um, and it obviously goes along with, again, wearing hardly any makeup in the heat that we've been having. So Sweet Pea works beautifully for that. Then I've got Rhub uh, Rhubarb and Custard. Oh, obsessed with this shade as well. I did so well picking four shades because I love them all. And I really want to actually get most of the collection of these because they're stunning. And then Ballerina, I had to pick up this. If you've seen my Instagram, I'm going like this with this in the Instagram and it just looks so beautiful, so powdery. They all have a matte finish, but they all also have a little bit of a sheen. No glitter, which I've also been receiving quite a few questions about. Um, so no glitter and there's no, nothing like that, but they've just got a little, I don't know, little glow, um, but they swatch matte. Um, I'll swatch this one that I'm gonna use, Peaches and Cream. So you can see it's matte. It is a full on powder. There's no glow to it at all, but when you look at it in the pan, it has this nice little sheen, but when you swatch it, it hasn't, you know? Um, it's hard to explain but it's just a beautiful formula blends beautifully I I cannot talk and rate these enough I can't talk about them enough I could well I could I could talk about it most of the morning okay my blush brush is the Wilco blush brush um, I like it because it's angled and it's quite fluffy but dense um, so again I do like quite a dense brush I don't like anything too um, I don't know not full it just doesn't work for me so I'm just going to put a little bit of peaches and cream on oh 
love it now these blushes are so beautiful in their formula because they give you you can build it up but um, it's just my perfect blush I found it and it's affordable now what I always do is just blend it in around the outside here like that just so it looks more natural oh, obsessed so yeah I love 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 all of these blushes I can't recommend them enough and you actually get 7.5 grams of product for three pounds love in love with that product so that's the face done and I'm, I'm now starting to look a little bit more healthier okay what I'm going to do now is I'm going in with the eyeshadow I'm just making a little bit of space here for the palette okay now I've actually used this over the weekend as well um, and this is the Revolution and Jack shadow palette I am obsessed with this if you haven't seen this um, then I think what I'll do is I'll see if I can link my video down below I am loving this now I wore what did I wear at the weekend this gold shade I was really looking forward to that it's actually you can't see it from looking at it but it's actually got very fine glitter it is so glamorous that shade it's outstanding so whether you want a little bit of a beautiful glow in the sunshine is going to give you that or perhaps you are going you know you want to be um a little bit more dressed up for perhaps i don't know wherever you're going um that will give that to you that glamour if you want a more glamorous look so daytime nighttime evening whatever you want to do that look is going to be beautiful i don't think i'm going to wear it today but i just wanted to say that i have tested it out it's beautiful and the glitter stays in place all day okay i'm now going to go for um I think I'm going to have to go in with this peach. I'm going to try this quad over here, this purple look, and see what I can do with that. So, oh, yeah, peach. Now I'm going to go in with the brown first. Um, let me get my name sheet. I'm going to go in with Kappa to start with. Um, so obviously I've already primed my eye. Oh, that's pigmented wasn't expecting that to be that pigmented um, the brush i'm using is the 251 eye increase contour brush from primark i hope this brush is still available um, i did notice that they were in the sale some of these um, sets oh that's blended out beautifully i thought that was going to be a little bit too too much for what i want today love that shade I know it's only a brown but I love neutral that is my thing obviously I have shared with you some other looks you know brighter looks but I just love neutrals it's what I feel comfortable in most and I feel what suits my coloring Oh, you can really um, build that up as well, that shade cuppa. Oh, love that. I was going to go in quite light, but. Oh, love that colour. Okay, now what am I going to go in with? I'm changing to my eye contour brush. I think I'm going to, I really want to incorporate the peach, but put that on the lid. I think I'm going to go in with the shade, um, is it Introvert? And it's this purple shade here, that one there. So I'm going to go in with that. Pop it in the crease there. that 
as well to do the same thing with the other eye. That purple is nice. It's it's also staying purple even though I've put it on top of a brown I can still see that purple shining through so really pleased with that I'm actually going to put that purple underneath my eye using the same brush oh that's pretty I think I did something, what did I do yesterday? I had something similar, but it wasn't purple, I don't think. It was, was it blue? I can't remember. I really love that. Um, I have tried a lot of purples, and I do tend to find they get lost if you put them over a brown, but you can really see that purple shining through. So love that. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to get another brush because we're going in with um, the peach now and I'm going to, it's just a profusion brush, what, what came with the palette. It's quite fluffy, so hopefully it's going to work. And I can't believe how much peach this brush picked up. Okay, like that. Now, this is one of the things that I really liked when I um, purchased the palette, actually. I liked this little, um, I keep wanting to call it a quad. I really like the colours in this little corner because um, it's something different. And I wouldn't ordinarily, sometimes, you know, you think peach and purple, is it going to work? But... Um, yeah, really like that. Blends beautifully with the peach. Oh, obsessed. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing with the other eye. Little bit powdery this shade. I've got a little bit of kick up. I don't know if it's because I'm using quite a fluffy brush. Um, I'm just picking up the other pigment. But yeah, I really love that peach shade with the purple. That is beautiful. Okay, going back in with my original brush and going back in with that purple shade, that first purple. And just adding a little bit of that there. Just going back in with the peach actually. That, that peach is such a different um, formula. The purple hasn't kicked up at all. That's better. Love that. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more of the purple there. Just want a little bit more drama. It was meant to be a summer look. Well, I suppose it still is, but... Um, now what I want to do is add a little bit of shimmer, but I don't want too much. So I'm really hoping that this shade um, gives that to me. And it's called Chill Out, which is the silver underneath peach. So that one there. What I don't want is to obliterate what I've done. So I'm just going to get a little bit and then tap it over the peach. Yeah. I want a little bit of shimmer, but I don't want too much. When I swatched this, goodness me, it gave me a good sheen. So I want the base shade to the peach, obviously, to shine through. But what I want is when I go outside, I want, you know, when that sunlight hits me, I want a little bit of something. You can see that. I'm just going to get my fluffy brush in with peach. And just dot that on. I, I, it's 
been a little bit too heavy handed I think with the silver on this side. Beautiful, okay. Now I thought I had a pencil brush. Um, is it gone? I think I've probably left it in my drawer. That's the beauty now of every, having everything in one room. Okay, now what I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Just getting my, that silver is very, very intense. That's better. I'm just going to get a, like a, it's the same brush that I do my brows and all of that, but it's going to work perfectly for this. I'm going back into that silver shade called Chill Out. I don't want too much. I know this is intense. Love it. Oops, now I've gone into the peach. Beautiful. That is so intense, that, that silver shade. So if you, obviously it just shows that you can intensify it or use it quite subtly as I have done in the um, on the lid. So, oh, I love that. Okay, so that is my eye look featuring the Jack palette again. Love that, it's the third time I've used it, I've not been disappointed with it at all. I'm now using another product, obviously from Revolution, and it is the Smoky HD Waterproof uh, Gel Liner in Black. I mean, what else would it be? in a corner highlight is just amazing. I am now using the Mascara Revolution, of course, from Revolution. Again, only on the top. I'm just finding I don't want too much mascara and if I start glowing, I still, I'm not on the waterproof version yet because I'm using this, but um, I don't want it to go anywhere other than my lashes in this warm weather. Beautiful. And not only that, I just want to keep it quite fresh. So that's my makeup so far. I am obsessed with that eye look. That is beautiful. Now I'm going in with the lipstick. Um, again, I'm going quite neutral, but this is a favorite. I don't think I've used hardly anything other than these since I, um, since I ordered them. And this is the new neutral satin matte lipstick in the shade Velvet. Oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I mean, it looks beautiful. I mean, the shade is just stunning. You're all telling me that you're loving this velvet shade. So I thought I'm gonna to have to incorporate it in today's look. It is just a divine shade. Absolutely stunning. Oh, love that. Okay, so that is my whole look created for you today, my get ready with me. I. I think Revolution is getting, I mean, I say this every time I do a look with them um, or using their products. They just get better and better. I am absolutely obsessed with that highlight. It's just, is it natural? Is it makeup? Obviously it's make. we know it's makeup, but when I go out, I want people to know, think, is that sheen natural? Does her skin glow like that or is it makeup? 
So yeah, that's everything that I wanted to share with you today. I'm obsessed by all of these products. Every single eye look that I have created with this Jack and Revolution um, palette, I have been obsessed with. Um, and today's eye look is no exception. I think I've only got one corner now to use. I've used the blue, I've used the neutral. I think it's just this red corner now. Um, obviously you didn't see the, the other one because I did that at the weekend, but yeah, oh, love this. So I'd love your feedback on my look today. And no, I haven't cut my hair. I've just got it up um, as well. I know I'll get a few comments about that, but I need it off my neck. If it's off my neck, I'm cool. I'm not hot. Um, okay, so I'll just give you a close up of that eye look. What are you thinking to the Jack palette if you've picked it up? What are you thinking to any of the other products that I've shared with you today that I've used in my look? I would love to hear all of that from you as always. Um, of course, if you're brand new to my channel, if you've just stumbled across me, I would love it if you subscribed to watch further videos. I try and upload a video every day apart from Saturday and Sunday. I do have a rest then. So I'd love um, for you to subscribe and I'd love to hear from you as well if you're brand new. So do keep those comments coming. I will be back tomorrow, um, hopefully, uh, with another video for you. And uh, until then, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.